Hey Tyler, where are we right now? <laughs> the airport. Heck yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Tucson, Arizona. Later we're going to be going to look at a couple of the properties. We're going to be going to Walmart, getting supplies here for our uh, headquarters for looking at all the property. <laughs> yeah, this is headquarters. This is home base. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go out to all the different properties with the, the real to estate find agent new headquarters. to find new headquarters, the new, the homestead, the pioneer land. <laughs> So we're going to see how that goes, and we're going to bring you guys along for the ride. This is the first property we visited. Through all the ones we looked through, it was the one we were excited about the most. It's three acres of nice green grassland with a pretty fantastic mountain view right outside of it. When we drove up, it didn't disappoint our expectations. It would go on to be the property that we compared all the other ones to. Between the nice flat ground, green plants, and 360 views, we were pretty much all ready to call it a day there. But we thought we'd give the real estate agent another chance to give us a little more to work with. Yeah, so this is the second property. When we showed up with the real estate agent, uh, there was an entire fence along the entire thing. Uh, no way into the property whatsoever. We were starting to ask if uh, the property was maybe further back and there was a different access road but the access road was all the way down on the other side of the property and it looked like it had been washed out and not even used for years. So at this point we had decided that the property was completely useless and we had to move on.
and finally we have the third property where we went to and me and Tyler absolutely loved this one. We looked around and it was nothing but open, big 360 views all around. We loved how remote everything was. You couldn't even throw a rock and hit your neighbor's yard. Uh, you couldn't see anyone. So uh, we liked how tucked away a lot of the brushes were. We were pretty much completely sold on this one. The only problem was that this one was about two hours away from Tucson. So unfortunately, we kind of had to let it go because it wasn't going to be close enough for any kind of uh, career or working. But uh, it was really beautiful and we wish we could have picked it up. I really like this one. I like this one too. Yeah. second day we're gonna be looking at more properties today this time in the Rio Rico area which is a little south close to the Mexican border and we're gonna see how that goes uh, some of yesterday's footage got corrupted but luckily we got to save the uh, video for our favorite one so we're definitely heavily looking into that one and we're gonna see about it all right see you guys later Unfortunately, our first property is this giant hill over here, which would seem kind of impossible to build on. I feel like there's no way we could put any kind of house or anything on that, but the views around are amazing. Yeah, imagine waking up to this every day. Well, we're going to be uh, moving on to the next one. We'll see if that one's any bit better. All right, here we are again at uh, another very scenic, very lovely, useless piece of land. <laughs> uh, you look down here, and it is nothing but wonderful downhill. Four acres of beautiful rolling downhill. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to this wonderful, lovely piece of property. Yeah, so green and nice. But yeah, I think I think the effort to build up the side of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah, it would be not worth. Now here we are on the third day. We're gonna be heading out to the Tucson locations where we're gonna be seeing the last bit of land. Um, Rio Rico ended up being a complete washout. We didn't find anything at all. Uh, both properties were really slanted down in, so we're going to go around to the Tucson ones today. They seem like kind of uh, in the middle desert kind of things. We'll see how the, that goes. 
because we really liked that first one we saw. We're still sitting on that, but that's about an hour and away. Apparently, the, the ones we're going to see today are only about a half hour away from Tucson. So, we'll see how that goes, and you guys will be the first to see it. See you there. Too bad as far as 360 views here. And this one was the first Tucson one that we looked at. We were actually both very surprised at how much we ended up liking it. It was really tucked away, and it was out in the middle of nowhere, it was covered by a lot of brush, there was no neighbors in sight, but unfortunately, the road leading up to it was a little uh, sketchy, shall we say, so Tyler's car, her WRX, couldn't uh, get through the roadway, otherwise it was actually a pretty serious contender. Second property. And then last we saw the last Tucson property, which was mostly just full of a lot of cactus cactus everywhere. This was the most cactus ridden property we had seen on the entire time. Um, it was in a nice spot and we had like a, some cow neighbors that we wanted to hang out with, but at the end of the day we realized it would be way more trouble than it was worth to, to clear all of the cactus. So we packed it up and uh, just decided to go see Tombstone. Alright, here we are in Tombstone, Arizona. Where? Karen has decided she wants to go to the OK Corral. <laughs> Show off to John when we get home. So, there you have it. We went down to Arizona, we found the land we were looking for, and we came back here to Jersey. I put together all the clips of everything that looked like it was going to be pretty good while we were there, and uh, we're going to be heading down there in November. Uh, we still have to wait to sign for it for November 12th about, but uh, we're hoping as soon as we get that going, it should be a pretty smooth process. Now it's just about getting permits to be able to build there, having our final designs, drawings, and everything like that. So until then, we're just going to enjoy New Jersey for the last little bit. Thanks for coming along with us, and uh, I hope you're all cheering us on.